Meantime, crude oil prices are falling as the recent rally spurred by heightened geopolitical risk is taking a bit of a pause. Our guest today says it could be a good time to use options to trade in crude. Joining us now is Scott Nations, president of Nations Indexes. Scott, what are you trying to do here? How are you playing crude by using options? What's the trade? That's right, Tyler. I, I'm bearish crude oil, and the way to play this is to use options on USO, the crude oil ETF. So with USO at about 75 and a half, I'm buying the October 25 expiration. I'm going to buy a put spread by the 65, 72 half put spread. I can buy that for about $1.28. Let's break that down a little bit. In doing that, we're buying the 72 and a half strike put, and uh, that gives us our bearish exposure. We don't expect crude oil to go all the way to zero, so we're going to sell the 65 strike put to reduce the cost of the entire trade by quite a bit. Whenever we buy a put spread, we're defining our risk. And in this case, we're defining that risk to the $1.28 that we pay for the spread. And we certainly don't want to just run in there and short crude oil because we know what can happen when uh, traders have to look at a map to figure out where the news is coming from. But we're, while we're risking $1.28, potential profit is $6.22 per contract. Tyler, the thesis here is that crude oil is going to fall back to the mid-60s, where it spent much of September. Uh, and I am bearish because there's relatively good geopolitical news right now. As you alluded to, uh, President Biden is urging Israel to not hit Iranian oil infrastructure or assets. And it seems like Israel has decided that they're not going to do that. If they attack, they're going to strike military and intelligence targets. And while that's horrible news, it's not as horrible for crude oil. Uh, also, some good news, Hezbollah now seems to support a ceasefire in that part of the Middle East. And so uh, some of the tensions that had been revolving around crude oil in the Middle East are easing, and we're starting to see, as you point out, uh, crude oil fall because of that. Scott, I want to clarify something on one of our graphics. Uh, the the sure. uh, cost here was $1.28, not $128, and the maximum profit was $6.22, not $622, correct? Well, it's a, it's $1.28, but since every contract is for 100 shares of the ETF, the ah, total risk, okay. total risk would be $128 per contract, total potential profit would be $622 per contract. Okay, good. Glad we cleared that up because I was a little lost because you were talking about $1.28 and $6.22 and I was looking at $600 and I thought there's a little discrepancy there. Scott Nations, thank you very much.